<clears throat> okay, this is the a, a top for a uh, woodworking bench that I'm making, and uh, you can probably see the uh, the hole here. Now, what this this hole was, uh, it was a, a knot hole, and um, I couldn't seem to get it patched up, so I decided to make good good use of it, and. You can see this This is one board. Uh, I got this at the International Wood Collector Society meeting. And, and you, see, there's, you can see there's another knot down at this end, which I was able to uh, put some wood filler in and patch up. But to do, because this thing had that, what I did was I took one of these pipe connections and um, I routed out a recess underneath that uh, so it would fit uh, flat and then screwed it to the uh, board right. Okay now Hopefully we can see this 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 is a uh, clamp that I bought at a uh, Goodwill store actually and I got this little piece of pipe now this piece of pipe screws into this uh, a Pipe plan and you screw it down like this. Okay, now you can clamp a piece of wood to hold it on your workbench. Okay, now also the, the legs for this, uh, I lap jointed a, a couple of two by fours which I uh, trim down the sides to approximately three inches wide uh, and then we, I lap jointed uh, these pieces together and then screwed them uh, down along with some glue. Uh, this one's got a panel in it, just a solid panel. I've got a second one that uh, has a uh, uh, the perforated board uh, so I can hang stuff on the end of it. Uh, the reason I did it differently is I only had enough of this and uh, I needed something for in here so I just put a piece of one that I had. This is basically made out of stuff that I already had. This, the, the plans for uh, these legs uh, came out of woodworking magazine. I'm just modifying it uh, to, for this thing because it was for a different type of setup. Uh, the these these legs are set like this uh, underneath this, and um, these uh, where you see these cutouts down here. The that's uh, the cross uh, bar will go across here uh, from one end to the other. That's how that'll go. Uh, and uh, underneath, I plan on putting some uh, cabinets. All right, now you can see uh, the rail is how it attaches to the end pieces that I showed you there earlier. I had the groove cut out for that end pieces. And so there's the rail. And then now you can see both, there's the other end piece another rail on the bottom, a board going across. Um, the board goes across to accommodate a set of wheels uh, that, that have a locking mechanism on them. Have that, have that set up on both ends of the uh, thing. Now this end uh, uh, is, like a, is a solid piece. And then of course we have the top that's attached. The top is attached with uh, some uh, tabletop cookups, which I see one of them has worked its way loose there. Uh, so I'm gonna have to tighten that one down. We'll have to check these. See now that one's okay. There's another one. Another one down here. And the, the, here you can see the bottom of the. Uh, uh, pipe flange that the uh, 
clamp screws into. And I see there's another one that's loose that I'm going to have to tighten up. Okay, now what I have here laying on top of this table is I, I, I'm making a, a children's uh, picnic table. And this is uh, cypress, which has been uh, planed and milled uh, to approximately one and a half by one and a half inch pieces and then glued together. There'll be two of them just like this um, that'll make the tabletop and then I'm going to have two benches that will be the same way uh, with uh, legs underneath of them, which we'll see at a later date. Okay, this is a cabinet that uh, Scott Beverly's son and I refinished. Uh, we took all the old finish off of it and uh, put a, uh, sanded it all off and, and, and then refinished it with two coats of polyurethane. Uh, the runners that you can see there, I had to replace all the runners because the old ones were bad. So I took some uh, uh, cherry wood I had and uh, copied the old runners uh, and duplicated them. And so, and here's another drawer. One of the other drawers. We get, we've got uh, four drawers. I'll put them all in there in a minute. All right, this is a nightstand that that we refinished. Uh, you can see the door knob. Uh, I don't know how well you can see the finish on this side. Uh, let's see here. And see that that's how we finished this. It. it uh, was, this is all cedar uh, furniture that Scott had when he was a baby and uh, or a young man and so we refinished it for his uh, son and my grandson okay here we have the dresser with the drawers in we got one knob missing apparently we miscounted somewhere along the line how many knobs we needed so there's the dresser same cedar dresser uh, Sanded and refinished with polyurethane. There's two coats of polyurethane. Okay. Two coats of polyurethane. All right. So I've cut up one of the uh, plain two by fours uh, into uh, a one by approximately one by one piece. Uh, I'm getting two per two by four. I've got uh, two more two by fours to cut up. Uh, so it'll be a total of six six of these. Uh, and then I'll glue them up. Alright, so now I've got all of them cut out and they're ready to uh, be glued up. I'm going to, well, first of all, I'm going to set up my, my calls to make sure this, this helps keep everything level. So I'm setting this all up. And First of all, I gotta kind of even out these end pieces. I try to get them as close to even as I can. I don't know if you can see that now. So. All right, trying to even out these end pieces. This end on on these boards were were fairly square, so that's the good end to try to even out. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these cross clamps on there. Uh, hold it in that direction. Uh, I'm gonna get everything set up before I apply the glue get it set up and ready okay like that and you know put one at each end okay 
it was that poop. Yeah. I was thinking. I'm uh, I'm recording all this right now, so okay. Oh. So now, then I just have to put clamps on the end of this. Okay. Now you can see uh, the glue up that I've done. I uh, got got everything clamped up, and and now, unfortunately, I only was able to glue up three at a time this time. Ran out of glue. Didn't count on that. Uh, should have, but I didn't. And so I got three of them glued up. You got to go to the store and buy more glue to finish gluing up the rest of them. Okay, now, uh, this is a new project that I'm working on, which is uh, the uh, uh, picnic table. Uh, this is this is going to be a bench uh, top for one of the tables. Now this is the table top right there that that I've built, um, and it is. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. It will be let's measure here uh, about thirty. It's about 30 and 30 and one half inches wide uh, and uh, so we're, we are progressing now I'm going to show you what I did was <clears throat> this uh, it's end of it, it it's uh, made out of uh, cypress and I cut uh, two by fours into approximately one by one and a half by one and a half and glued them together uh, and you can see that now I'm in the process of sanding this down uh, so we can let's see how we can get this to uh, let's see stop that all right so I'm in the process of sanding this uh, flat with the belt sander. Uh, this is what I've done. idea I did I did that with I did that with the tabletop until I had it uh, fairly flat and then I sanded with a uh, sanded with um, a orbiting sander uh, random sander I think it is uh, until I had it smooth like I wanted it okay now we're we're down to the random sanding sander. Uh, this is just a freight uh, uh, Harbor Freight sander, 20 bucks. Does a pretty good job. And so I do the random sanding. I got a hundred grit on here. <laughs> These are going to be the seats, and uh, so that's a, that's at 100 grit. That's that's a pretty smooth surface uh, for something like this, uh, and uh, sh should be splinter free.
All right, this this is a piece of a uh, raw uh, cypress uh, two by four, and um, I've I've taken a piece like this. This is a cutoff that I uh, I've taken pieces like this and planed them, joined them, planed them, and uh, now I'm cutting them up into uh, strips uh, to make a, the second top for the uh, seat and, and we'll be doing that shortly okay uh, continuing with the building of the uh, picnic table uh, today and uh, yesterday and today I, I built these um, cross beams uh, and you can see they're they're mortised and they've got bolts going through them uh, they, they're currently and I screwed them down to uh, the uh, top. Uh, you, you can see I've enlarged the holes. I don't know how well you can see that. But I've enlarged the holes with the screws. These are four inch screws that go down through here. And um, uh, the holes are enlarged for, for wood movement. Uh, everything, all the edges on uh, everything has been uh, given a 45 degree angle and um, here's the other one on the other end um, and then sanded now the uh, the legs they they stand up like this let me see if we can back up here uh, and um, they, they're attached at the top with the bolts. Let's see here. We can, uh, you can see there. They're attached at the top with the bolt. Uh, out the head of of all the bolts, and and currently I've got two and three quarter inch bolts in there. I've got to change that out to two and a half, uh, but. You can see that they're, they've been, uh, all the bolts and uh, nuts have been, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, they've, uh, they have uh, recesses built in or drilled in so that they won't be showing or at least they'll be below the surface. Uh, I've got to change out these two and three quarter bolts for two and a half and and that should uh, solve my problem with the bolts sticking out um, there again you can see I think you can get the 45 angle on all the parts uh, right now the, these this has just been uh, glued down this this part right here uh, has been just been glued down um, and I'm waiting for the glue to dry and then I'll attach these uh, legs back on it but I need like I say I need to switch out the bolts uh, we've got two sets of those and we're back up here and see uh, and of course you're seeing the table upside down at this point okay now this is the uh, final uh, results of the table, uh, the picnic table I've been built, building. Uh, you can see uh, it has two benches and a table. Um, Beverly wanted me to build a picnic table. I came up with the design for the picnic table. Um, she came up with the idea of putting the umbrella in it and some cup holders in it. But before we see that, let me just show you some of the design. Um, the leg design on this is, is the uh, straight up and down type design. Let's see, you can see that on the on the uh, uh, legs. The they're bolted uh, at top and bottom. You can see that on the table legs there. Uh, each one has a bolt bolted spot. Uh, there you can see the black part is the bottom of the cup holders I just drilled holes to handle the cup holders 
Uh, and there, you can see there's six cup holders uh, so that when you're sitting at the table, each person has uh, their own cup holder. Uh, the, the benches are separate uh, to make it easier to move around and relocate uh, without having to have too much weight. There's one bench back there and, and uh, I finished it with a, an oil uh, paint uh, that is uh, recommended for uh, porches uh, and uh, so it should hold up fairly well out here in the weather we're hoping in the Florida sun and weather uh, the only time will tell on that so <coughs> so that is the completed project of the uh, the picnic table and uh, we got a it's a oblong or triangular shaped umbrella I don't know if you can really tell that but probably it's more like a square umbrella uh, to cover the table. I, I should say that uh, this uh, uh, board is a piece of red oak. Like I say, I picked it up at the International Wood Collector Society meeting. It's one solid piece. Uh, I've polyurethaned um, three coats on each side. 